that was a little fun. So I've had these tires for a long time. They got out of balance. I poked holes in them. They've been drying for a while. They're still kind of out of balance, but we got the 3S 5600 120C in here. The Spectrum 120 amp. Stock 3650, 3300 kV Hobby Wing. We got her upgraded a few. Swing arms, steel slipper clutch, 29 tooth motor pinion, just for fun. No dry roof. Might have saved them. Break them in a little too. They do pretty good for speed. They're pretty good on speed too. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a sweet jump back here. He used a 3660 for sure. Coming in for the jump. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> Almost had that. <laughs> Missed it. There we go. Oh, too much. How do I jump back? Oh, I gotta go way over there. Get some grip in the snow. Oh, I think I broke it. Oh, too much. Oh, good save. Oh, 
open too. Oh man! Oh, took out that lip. It's a beast. Holy! There's some high speeds up here. Let's see how fast this thing goes. Oh. Yeah, I think we got a drive pinion. Oh, we hit our limiter. Battery limiter, limit mode. Another big thank you to all the new subscribers and everybody who's been there. Man, we just hit the top tier, monetized. The channel's gonna be doing good pretty soon here as soon as I figure things out. Whoa, hey. TX4, we're doing TX4 things. Thank you so much, guys. Much more to come. We got the steel gear for the MN78. Just need a drive shaft. Just need metal drive shafts. But we can whip around with two wheel drive, have some fun. Lots to come. Do some water skipping here pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, they're balanced like they come. They come balanced really nice. Yeah, I ruined these. Let's try taking the foams out. Let's see what those do. Otherwise, them are great little tires. 12 mil hex though. And good thing we got those Fushi Avec 5 bearings. That's definitely helping big time. Otherwise, we would have just tore our bearings up. But we didn't. Those are the best bearings ever for $9.99. Look at that front red axle. It's just a little bent. I might have bent that before, but I think we bent it a little more. I got the gears to act up. I figured out what happened. A couple differentials. And I'm definitely going to invest in that shim kit so everything is nice and tight because these have really nice beefy gears. It's definitely just from too much, too much space. Lack of maintenance is what you call it. 